Adding pictures to a website definitely is one way to spruce it up. However, websites can quickly become cluttered if we're trying to share too many photos. So for this week's assignment, we will be creating a Picasa web slideshow, which is a wonderful way to get a lot of pictures onto a website without taking up a lot of space and having it look very clean and tidy. So it's a great way to promote your classroom. It's a great way to promote student work. It's a great way to showcase pictures from a field trip. But please remember that Picasa is not just a tool for teachers. It's also a great way for students to showcase their learning. I have had students use Picasa, given them digital cameras in elementary school, and they've gone on digital scavenger hunts for shapes, and they've taken pictures of various items that match the shapes we are looking for and then we upload those to a Picasa album. I've had older students in their science classes make Picasa albums for forces of nature where they're collecting images online that are great examples of erosion and weathering, putting those all in an album and labeling the parts and submitting that album to their teacher or putting it on their web portfolio page. For this week's assignment, you can use pretty much any pictures that you want to because we're really just gonna focus on how to use the tool. And step number one is finding the right Picasa. So here I am on my more Google web page. I'm going to switch over to Drive for a minute. Typically, we can hop around the different areas of Google Apps using the black bar across the top or the More button. But you will not find Picasa in this drop-down menu unless you choose even more, and then it will direct you actually to a page to prompt you to download Picasa. So don't, I don't recommend going in that way. I either recommend using the link right off the Jeffco Google Apps web page for Picasa web albums or just simply typing picassaweb.google.com. You don't want to type picassa.google.com. You want the web version. Google makes a wonderful downloadable client that accompanies Picasa, but we don't need that. So don't download anything this week. Just make sure you're at picassaweb.google.com. You, as long as you're logged into your Google Apps account, you'll land on a page that looks like this. Ever since I signed up for Google+, Plus, I often get these messages about Google+, Plus, and once or twice I've even been directed to Google+, Plus, and in the yellow box across the top had an option to return back to Picasa. So make sure you end up back at picassaweb.google.com. Double check the address across the top to make sure you're in the right spot. This is my Picasa dashboard because I already have some items uploaded. You can see that I have previous albums already located here. If you do not, you will probably all still have the featured photos, which are photos that have been featured by other Picasa users that I have uploaded as public. This is a quick tour of the dashboard. Each of these icons represents a picture inside this album. And there are some additional items that I did not add. So every time I create a profile picture, Google also creates a Picasa album for that. I have a Dropbox. In our session, I provided some directions for how pictures can be emailed directly to this Dropbox. So if students run a field trip, you can give them that address and they can email their picture right to the Dropbox. It will appear here. And then you can move those pictures to other albums. And then every time I also add pictures to a blog, Picasa makes an album for that as well. The first step for this assignment is to upload any seven pictures of your choice to a new album on Picasa. So to get started, I'll use the upload button. And then I need to title my album. Now, if I were just adding a picture to an existing album, I can use this add to existing album link and to pull up all of the albums that currently exist. I want to create a new album and I'm going to use this album to showcase my library. So I will call this RVHS LMC. My next step is to select my photos from my computer. I have collected them all in a folder ahead of time, so I can quickly select all of them at once and click open. Picasa gives me a little status update as to the uploading progress of each photo. I will pause the video while we wait for these to upload. My pictures have finished uploading, but before I select this blue OK button to finalize the process, I am going to hover beneath each picture and add a caption. Adding a caption to each of your photos is one of the requirements for this week's assignment. So simply click add a caption and add one to each photo. Once you've added a caption to all of your photos, just click that blue OK button. If for some reason you forgot to add a caption to a photo, you can quickly select it and then beneath it use the edit link to add the caption. Picasa gives you a little bit of a breadcrumb trail path, so you can always find your way back. You can either always go back to your My Photos listing of all your albums. I want to get back to my album level itself, so I will click on the name of the album itself. So I have my completed album. It has several pictures in it. I can continually add to this album as I see fit throughout the year. But for right now, I think I'm ready to embed it on my website. 
Because this album is going to be viewed by others, I need to make sure my permissions are set accordingly. Otherwise, if I embed this photo album on my website, no one will see anything. It'll just be a blank white space. So over here on the right, you can see the current level of visibility or sharing settings that you have. Right now, my album is set to be only me. And I can click the edit button here to adjust that. Another way to do that is go into the actions and bring up your album's properties. That will bring up the same screen. I'm gonna click cancel so you can see if I select edit over here on the right, I also get this screen. So what you'll wanna do, it, you can edit the description as you see fit, but what's really critical is to adjust the visibility settings to change it from only you to, I usually choose limited anyone with the link. I just don't really want necessarily the pictures public on the web to be searchable, but I do want these pictures to be viewable by those who are on my website and who have gone there. So I'll choose this middle setting, limited anyone with the link, and save my changes. I get a message that my album's been updated and now I am ready to embed this on my more Google portfolio or on my website for my classroom or for my library. So let me pop over to my more Google portfolio. And now I need to go over to the tab for the Picasso project. And one of the great things about Google's tools is how nicely they are integrated. So I'm going to go into editing mode by clicking the pencil on this page. And inserting my Picasso web album is truly as easy as inserting a picture. And you can see I've listed out the path for you here. I'm going to go ahead and erase that message. Put my cursor where I would like my slideshow to pop in. And then I'll go to the insert menu. And this used to say insert Picasso web album. Now Google refers to a lot of their picture projects as Google Plus, which is why at the beginning of the project, we had to click the little message to go back to Picasso. But if you go into your the Google Plus menu, you'll see the option to insert a photo album, which is exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to go insert Google Plus photo album. This will bring up a list of all of my photo albums in Picasso, and I just need to find the one that says RVHS LMC and select it. A blue box will be drawn around my album, and then I hit the blue select button at the bottom of the screen. Now you have some options that you can select. So autoplay means that when visitors come to your page, the pictures will automatically start scrolling, which I do like. Whether or not you show captions is up to you. And I do know that 288 pixels is pretty tiny, so I'm going to increase the size of mine to large. I will show you how you can change this later. Whether or not you want a border or a title around it is really just up to you, some display preferences. When you're happy with your choices, just choose Save. You'll see something has been added to your web page. You can't tell exactly what until you hit the blue Save button again. And once I do that, I can see my Picasso slideshow. It scrolls through from picture to picture. It's a much cleaner, nicer way of organizing pictures on my website. Instead of having eight or 10 or multiple pictures on this page, I can have a nice slideshow that takes up a small amount of room on my webpage, but allows me to show several pictures. If you wanna make any changes to your Picasso web album, you can go back into editing mode, select the photo album, and choose this gear or properties icon to edit it. You can change the size, and I can use these tools if I want to center or left or right align my photo album, and again, choose Save. If I were to go back to Picasso and add in and upload some more pictures into this album, I don't need to re-embed the album on my webpage. Those pictures will just automatically become part of this scrolling slideshow that users see when I visit my page. So that is how you build a Picasso web album and embed it on a Google site. So take a few minutes to build your album and drop it into your portfolio for this class.